everybody. Welcome back to Women Carry Knives. What do we have on the table? Well, this is courtesy of Scott Big Boar Knife and Gear. Thank you so much for allowing us to review this one. You guys, this is the uh, Max Ace Persian, or um, it's a design by Bally Ballistic. And it, this thing is just Stabby, scary stabby. Very cool though. I really like it. It's very well done. Now it is a front flipper. And again, you guys know I have arthritis in my thumb. So as I say, it is very hard for me to front flip some of these knives. Um, this is going to be one of those. So it depends on where the flipper is as to whether or not I can flip it. This one is kind of an interesting place for me. So it does make it a lot harder for me to front flip. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like my front flippers, but see, I can't even flick it out. Um, what are you going to get with this one? Well, okay, first off, let's start by saying that these run for $252. What do you get with that? Well, you do get a nice M390 Persian style blade. Some people prefer to call it a straight back blade. Um, I, I don't know why. Uh, it is a front flipper, as I said. You do have a nice plain edge with a beautiful satin grind on that. So if you guys can really see that, I mean, I think that's really pretty. Very well done. It's very nice. You're going to get the uh, titanium and gold carbon fiber handle. Let's see if you can see that at all. Very well. I really do like it. You know, it is a frame lock. Uh, it's centered very nicely. And then you do have kind of the gold anodization or brass, whichever you want to call it on this, for your pivots. You can see there their little logo. Hopefully that's clear, coming in clear. I'm not actually looking at it. Um, I love the sleek design of this. Now, and I always say it, I love the rectangular handle shape because it's great for any size hand. Uh, this one is very, very comfortable in hand. Your lock bar there is going to be a little bit... Uh, your frame lock, bolster lock, is going to be a little uh, carved out your frame here. So you're going to have a little bit of jimping on your lock area. Very, very easy to get to. I do like that. Of course, you do have jimping here on the back of your knife. One of these days, I'm going to take care of my arthritis and be able to front flip better. But until then, we will use two hands. Now, as you can see, you have a very nice low profile clip, and I do like that. Um, it is a right hand carry only. I don't believe you can switch the clip on this one. And that I actually didn't check out. You might be able to. It's not inset into the frame. Okay, don't quote me on that. You might be able to switch that. But again, that would be something that I would have to actually take it apart. Look, and I'm not willing to do that because it's not my knife. But that pocket clip, as I said, is very comfortable in hand. I'm really, really enjoying that. Um, I really thought it was going to be a hot point because of how slim the knife is. But maybe it's part of where I carry the knife in my hand that this one does not bother me at all. And I do like that. It is very, very sharp. I am loving that. It um, when we do get knives from people that we you know we want to use or whatever things that we cut are are simple. We'll cut a package open. We'll cut some cardboard, whatever. But we do not do anything really more than that. Um, I did cut a little bit of paracord with it because I like to see how it's going to cut. Um, but I don't do anything really you know more strenuous or hard use because again it's not my knife. So it's really not my place to be using somebody else's knife to do that. Um, but it has so far, it, it's, it's been great. I even played with it on some cardboard by pulling it. You know, you've got that nice upswept Persian that it just allows you to really pull through and cut. And then of course that tip on there, just phenomenal. I am really, really liking this one. Um, I, the only thing I really have an issue with is like the giant billboarding on the pivot. It's okay, but I do think it could be a little bit smaller. I love the marbled carp the the gold flex and the carbon fiber. I think that looks really, really nice. I do like that. I just overall I think this is a very nice 
clean, sleek knife, and I really, really like that. You can see there that it does say Persian on the blade. Hopefully you can see that in the light. Here, I will stand up so I can see my camera. There you go. Get even closer there. So there's your Persian. That's the uh, pivot billboarding I was talking about. And then again, you can see on this side, you know, there it says Bally Ballistic Design by Max Ace M390. Yeah, I would like, you know, and for those of us that do have arthritis in your hands, um, it is much easier to have a flipper. So on some of the knives, if they are too large, it really is hard to get your hand to really go around on that because, you know, it does hurt. But... I, it still wouldn't stop me from having this knife. I would not hesitate to still get one a flipper that I could not actually flip because there still are other ways to open it. Let's take a look at it next to the Rat 2. So you can see I consider the Rat 2 a large knife. Um, even though this is a large knife, I like the sleekness of it. So yes, it feels large in length, but it doesn't feel large you know, in hand because your handle is going to be so sleek. And if you look at this, I mean, you are talking, let's go ahead and flip it around this way, uh, three quarters of an inch. So that is a nice, sleek handle. I really like that. Okay, let's take a look at it next to our uh, Presidio here. So you can see that it's definitely, again, definitely a large knife. For those of you that would like to compare it to something smaller, let's take a look at it next to the Delica 4 which I consider this one pretty small, so, or, you know, or medium. So we'll take a look next to that, um, cross the board. Let's take a look at it next to the Rat 2. And lastly, let's go ahead and show you a little comparison here with the Bug Out. So you guys can see, I try to compare it, you know, I got two larger knives and three medium sized knives. So I want to just kind of give you a good comparison there. Now, for the actual uh, measurements of this one, you are looking at a one, two, three, four, just over a five inch blade with a four and three quarter inch, no, I'm sorry, three and three quarter inch cutting edge. Um, your handle length on this one, you know, you're looking at just over five inches there, which is going to give you an overall of just barely shy of nine inches. So this is a really good size knife. Now, it is 3.95 ounces. So that is fairly light for the size. And it feels like really well balanced and it feels light in hand. So that is always a big plus too. Um, if I tend to have a knife that's a little bit heavier, I'd like to know that it's going to be balanced well. <coughs> because that way... It's going to feel a lot better in hand, at least to me. Um, if I have a knife that is really unbalanced, then it's not comfortable in hand. Um, I tend to not use it as much um, because it's just not as useful for me, if that makes sense to you. I know what I'm trying to say. I just don't know that it's really coming out right. Um, a knife that's, you know, maybe it's, it's a lot heavier back on the back end, um, on the handle end, to me is not going to be as useful. I like my knife to be well balanced so that the tip and the end are, you know, pretty uniform in weight. Um, it can be a little heavier on the handle side, not much, and it would still be really comfortable to me. Now, this one you can actually, I can actually really choke up on it. And if you see that, we could actually measure. You've got about an inch sticking out the back. You can see on this side, you still have another, you know, couple inches there. Now, you don't have to choke up on this one because obviously you can be way back here. This one is really comfortable actually both ways. So I can hold it back here. It was comfortable this way. I could choke up a little bit more and hold it up higher. And it was really comfortable that way. I would imagine this one would be really good in the kitchen also. So, um, almost as kind of a paring knife type thing. Um, I actually thought that this would do really good. I would take a knife like this fishing because I think this would be a really good gutting knife and fillet knife. It's shorter, you know, so you're going to have a little bit shorter of a fillet knife there, but um, I really do think it would be good and I think it would be interesting to try. I would, I would actually like to grab one of these and try that out and see how... Uh, how well that works if I can ever get back to fishing. So you guys, this has been uh, the Max Ace Persian, the 
uh, what did I say? The built the built ball <laughs> Bali ballistic design. I am pretty happy with it. I would recommend it. Again, it is two hundred fifty-two dollars, so maybe out of some of your uh, some of your ranges that you're thinking. But again, I like to do um, I like to do knives in all kinds of budgets, so that way it's you know it's budget friendly. Some lower end, higher end um, knives that are great, but maybe are very budget friendly. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. Do me a favor, hit that like button on the way out. If you are not a subscriber, I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button. Love to have you here all the time. As always, feel free to leave me a comment down in the comment section. You know I like talking to you. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.